Now, the headline says, Criticisms Trail Nigeria's Approval of GMO Corn for Planting. Now, the GMO means genetically modified crops, right? Now, you have to understand that these genetically modified crops have been rejected by certain countries in Europe. Now, Nigeria is the second country in Africa to approve the use of genetically modified plant in the country. Okay, the first is South Africa. Now, the plant that was approved in Nigeria for commercial use, which is a genetically modified maize, is called Teller maize. Now, Teller maize is a maize variety that has been genetically mod engineered for improved insect resistance and drought tolerance to boost farmers' yield per hectare and also complement existing demand gap. Now, amidst concerns over the adoption of genetically modified crops in Nigeria, the federal government in January approved the commercial release of four Teller maize varieties for commercial planting in the country. Now, who is it going to benefit? Now, the biggest question. You understand that we have insecurity in the country and it's it's been registered as one of the reasons why we are suffering from food insecurity. Okay? But now, is this the good idea for the government to introduce genetically modified crops in the country? Let's look into some health implications or potential risk of GMO crops. Allergic reactions. The transfer of genes from one food to another may cause an allergic reaction if the genetic change triggers an allergen. Cancer. GMO foods possibly contribute to the development of cancer by raising the levels of carnogenic substances in the body. Antibacterial resistance. Genes from GMO plants could enter humans or animals, causing antibiotic resistance. Changes in human DNA. Eating GMO food could lead to genetic changes in humans, and that is not a good thing at all. Now, there are more implications of GMO crops. Now, let's also look at countries. Let's also look at countries in the world that have rejected the use of GMO crops, genetically modified crops. France banned GMO crops in 2008, with some exceptions for research purposes. Germany restricted GMO crops in 2009, allowing only a few varieties for cultivation. Italy banned GMO crops in 2013, citing concerns over environmental and health impacts. Did you hear that? Austria banned GMO crops in 1999, citing concerns over genetic contamination. Greece banned GMO crops in 2015, citing concerns over environmental and health impacts. Hungary destroyed GMO cornfields in 2011 and banned GMO crops in 2012. Poland banned GMO crops in 2013, citing concerns over environmental and health impacts. Russia banned GMO crops in 2016, citing concerns over environmental and health impacts. Switzerland imposed a moratorium on GMO crops in 2005 with some exceptions for research purposes. Japan has strict regulations on GMO crops, with only a few varieties approved for cultivation. Austria has a state-by-state -state approach for GMO crops, with some states banning and restricting or restricting their use. Kenya banned GMO crops in 2012, citing concerns over environmental and health impacts. Peru banned GMO crops in 2012, citing concerns over environmental and health impacts. Ecuador banned GMO crops in 2008, citing concerns over environmental and health impact. Sri Lanka banned GMO crops in 2014, citing concerns over environmental and health impact. Understand that most of the countries I've mentioned right now, they all banned GMO crops, genetically modified crops, due to environmental and health impacts. Now the question is, why is Nigeria approving the use of genetically modified crops in the country if they understand that there are implications to using genetically modified crops for commercial use. You want them to start planting that. You want the farmers to start planting genetically modified crops. And the problem again in this country is that the farmers won't even know what they are planting. I don't think anybody is going to give the farmers a choice to decide whether they want to go ahead to cultivate genetically modified 
maze. I don't think anybody's going to give them that choice. So they're just going to give them grains and give them seeds and tell them to plant. And they'll just go ahead and plant. They produce in large quantity and they give out to Nigerians to consume. Nigerians won't even know what they're consuming. So the days of organic food in the country is about to be over. Because the biggest problem I have, the biggest problem we have in the country is transparency. You don't have a choice to decide whether you want to consume organic food or consume the non-organic one, the genetically modified one. You don't have a choice. The biggest question you want to ask now, are GMO crops, genetically engineered crops, bad for the health? Yes, they are bad for the health. Are they bad for the environment? Yes, they can, they can contaminate the soil. Okay? Can you replant them from the produce you have? No, you have to bring from wherever it is you brought them before. Because the ones you have will not reproduce. They are going straight to your body to do the job they have been sent to do. So, it would be nice that the government come out openly. I know that they claim that they only commercialized it and approved for use, but it's not, it's not yet in the market. It's not yet available to farmers. And you and I know that we're not sure about that information yet. But whichever way, if they really want to start that move in the country, they have to be transparent. People have to decide whether they want to consume organic food in the country or consume genetically modified food in the country. Because at this point, we're about to lose that quality we have consuming organic food.